Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a bag using granny spike stitch. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any 3 colors, 75 grams each, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch marker, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, oak chain 35 plus 2 extra chains. Now we have completed our 37 chains. For the round one, we are going to work one half double crochet increase in third chain. So into the third chain, we are going to work one half double crochet increase. After completing the half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. After placing the marker, from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 chains. So this will be our first half double crochet, second one and third one. Like this, continue working until you reach 33 half double crochet. Count it and work 33 half double crochet. So including the first half double crochet, here we will have 34 half double crochet. Into the last chain, we are going to work an increase. So work 3 half double crochet increase. After completing the 3 half double crochet increase, place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker, Turn the arc, skip the first loop and from the next loop we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches. So this will be our first half double crochet. So one. And into the next loop we are going to work one half double crochet and this will be our second half double crochet. Two. And again into the third loop we are working one half double crochet. This will be our third half double crochet. Like this continue working one half double crochet until you reach 33 half double crochet. Now we have worked 33 half double crochet. There will be one loop left alone. In Into that loop we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So work two half double crochet increase in last loop. And into the first half double crochet increase place marker. And remove the next marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round one, we will have 72 half double crochet. Now for the next round, we are going to work chain 2 and 2 half double crochet increase into the same chain space. So the first half double crochet and the second one. Place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 chains. So this will be our first half double crochet. Second one. And the third half double crochet. Like this, continue working one half double crochet until you reach 33 half double crochet. Now we have completed our 33 half double crochet. Remove the marker and we are going to work increase in next 3 stitches. So what 2 half double crochet in first stitch. So 1 and 2. Into the first half double crochet place the marker. And into the next chain of 2 half double crochet increase. So 1 and 2 and into the third chain of 2 half double crochet increase. So 1 and 2. So there will be 6 half double crochet. Now turn the arc and from the next chain we are going to work 1 half double crochet in next 33 stitches. So 1, 2, Three. Like this work one half double crochet until you reach 33 half double crochet. 
So count it and continue working one half double crochet. Now we have completed our 33 half double crochet. Remove the marker and into the next two stitches we are going to work an increase. So work to one half double crochet and the second half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. Into the next chain we are going to work an increase so one half double crochet and into the same chain space we are going to work the second half double crochet. There will be four half double crochet. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 2, we will have 78 half double crochet. For the third round, we are going to work chain 2 and 1 half double crochet in, into the same chain space and place marker in top of the half double crochet. And into the next chain, we are going to work an increase. So, 2 half double crochet increase. This will be our first half double crochet. And into the same chain space work another half double crochet. So two half double crochet. From the next chain work one half double crochet in next 33 chains. So one, two, three. Like this work one half double crochet until you reach 33 half double crochet. Now we have completed our 33 half double crochet. Now remove the marker and work 1 half double crochet and into the second stitch we are going to work an increase. So into the first stitch we are going to work 1 half double crochet and into the second stitch we are going to work an increase. So work 2 half double crochet increase. This will be our first half double crochet and into the same chain space work the next half double crochet. So 1 and 2. Into the next stitch we are going to work one half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work two half double crochet and again into the next stitch we are going to work one half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So there will be nine half double crochet. Turn the work and now we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 chains. So one, two, three. Like this, continue working one half double crochet in next thirty stitches. Now we have completed our thirty three half double crochet. Now remove the marker. Again, we are going to work one half double crochet and two half double crochet increase. So into the first stitch we are going to work one half double crochet and into the second stitch we are going to work an increase. So work two half double crochet increase. Again we are going to work one half double crochet. And into the second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase. There will be six half double crochet and remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 3, we will have 84 half double crochet. Here our base ends and we can check for the inches. So it's 10 inch. For the next round, we are going to work one chain. And into the same chain space, we are going to work one single crochet in back loop and place marker in top of the single crochet. This round, we are going to work in back loop. So from the next chain into the back loop, we are going to work one single crochet. So work one single crochet in back loop all along the stitches. Now we have completed working our single crochet, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 4, we will have 84 single crochet. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 3 and into the same chain space, we are going to work 2 double crochet. So into the same chain space, work 2 double crochet. 
After completing the double crochet, place marker in top of the chain 3. So 1, 2 and 3. In chain 3, we place the marker. Now work a chain 1, skip 3 chain below. So 1, 2 and 3 into the 4th chain work 3 double crochet. So 1, 2 and 3. After completing the 3 double crochet of a chain 1. Again skip 3 chains and into the 4th chain work 3 double crochet. So the first double crochet, second one and the third one. After completing the 3 double crochet again of a chain 1. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 5. Now we are in the end of a round 5. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of chain 3. For the next round, work a chain 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Into the chain 3 place the marker. And skip the next two chains and into the chain on space work one double crochet work one double crochet in middle chain of the previous round again we are going to work one double crochet in chain on space now work a chain one skip three chains below and into the chain on space work one double crochet and work one double crochet in middle chain of the previous round and again one double crochet in chain on space again work a chain one and skip three stitches and into the chain on space again work one double crochet and into the middle chain of the previous round work one double crochet And into the chain on space work one double crochet and work a chain on like this continue the pattern throughout the round six now we are in the end of our round six now we are going to insert the new color yarn so slip stitch in chain three by adding the next color yarn After slip stitching, work chain 3 and 1 double crochet in middle chain of the previous round. So into the round 6 in middle chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet and into the chain on space, we are going to work 1 double crochet. Place marker in chain 3. So in chain on space again we are going to work one double crochet after completing the double crochet work chain one and skip the three double crochet below and into the chain on space again work one double crochet and in previous round in middle chain we are going to work one double crochet and work one double crochet in chain on space again work chain one and into the next chain on space work one double crochet and in middle chain of the previous round work one double crochet and into the chain on space again work one double crochet like this continue the same pattern throughout the round seven remove the marker and work a slip stitch So don't miss the chain one after working the chain one slip stitch in top of the chain three
for the next round or chain 4 and place marker in top of the chain 3 and skip next 2 chains in chain 1 space work 1 double crochet and in middle chain of the previous round work 1 double crochet Again in chain 1 space work 1 double crochet. Completing the double crochet work chain 1. After completing the chain 1 into the chain 1 space again work 1 double crochet and work 1 double crochet in middle chain of the previous round again work 1 double crochet in chain 1 space. After completing the double crochet again work a chain 1. Repeat the same pattern throughout the round 8. Slip stitch by adding the next color yarn. After slip stitching, repeat the pattern from the round 7 and round 8. So after slip stitching, work a chain 3 and place marker in top of the chain 3. In previous round, in middle chain of 1 double crochet and into the chain on space again of 1 double crochet after completing the double crochets work chain 1 so repeat the round 7 and round 8 if you are not going to add a new color yarn continue working with the slip stitch by the blue color yarn after slip stitching repeat the pattern from the round 7 and round 8 So after slip stitching of a chain 3 and place marker in top of the chain 3 in previous round in middle chain of 1 double crochet and into the chain on space again of 1 double crochet. After completing the double crochets work chain 1. So repeat the pattern round 7 and round 8 up to round 29. Now we are in the end of a round 29, work a slip stitch. After slip stitching for the next round, work a chain 1 and into the same chain space work 1 single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet. From the next chain, work 1 single crochet all along the stitches. So this round will be single crochet round, continue working 1 single crochet in each chain space. Now we have completed working our single crochet, remove the marker and work one single crochet instead of slip stitch. After working the single crochet, don't forget to place the marker. This single crochet will be our first single crochet of the next round. From the next chain, continue working one single crochet all along the stitches. So for the next two rounds, we are going to work one single crochet. Now we are in the end of a round 32, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the handle, I am going to select the chains equally by using a measuring tape. So place marker in 3 inches on both sides.
after placing the marker work chain one and one single crochet in same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet now work one single crochet until the next marker Now we have reached our markers. So remove the marker and work one single crochet and work a chain 80. One, two, three, four. Like this, work 80 chains. Now we have completed our 80 chains. Remove the next marker and skip the below stitches. And into the chain, we are going to work one single crochet. Again work one single crochet until the next marker. Now we have completed working single crochet. Remove the next marker and work one single crochet and chain 80. Now we have completed our chain 80, skip the chains below and remove the marker and work one single crochet. Again continue working one single crochet until the next marker. After completing the single crochet, remove the marker and work one single crochet. Place marker in top of the single crochet. This single crochet will be the first single crochet of the next round. Again work one single crochet. In top of single crochet in chain we are going to work one half double crochet so in chain work one half double crochet So in 80 chains work one half double crochet. Now we have completed working one half double crochet in 80 chains. In top of single crochet work one single crochet. So continue working single crochet in top of single crochet in chain 80 work one half double crochet. Now remove the marker and work one single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet. This will be our first single crochet of next round. Again continue working one single crochet over one single crochet and one half double crochet over one half double crochet. So now we have reached the corner. Here we are going to work the half double crochet together. Now we have completed our half double crochet together. From the next chain work one half double crochet like this. Continue working one half double crochet over one half double crochet. If you want a bend edge work one half double crochet together. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Work a chain one, cut the extra yarn and weave in using blunt needle. So friends, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching.